I speak unto thee this day, and I say it is me, the living God, who does want my people to trust in me. That is, I want my people to keep on believing, to keep on trusting, to keep on following after. For I say that if my people will believe me, they will see that I do miracles for them. And I say if my people will believe me, they will see that nothing is impossible with me. But I say so often the ones who claim that they are my people literally do not believe in me. For I say they prefer to look at circumstance, at situation, and give themselves over to the dread of the same. And I say, while they are in such a state, then they begin to live in unbelief towards me. And I say it is because they are believing in circumstance and situation in the threats of the wicked more than me. But I say that I, the living God, never called my people to succumb to such things. But I say that I've called them to keep believing, to keep trusting, to keep hoping in me. That is, ever looking unto me and knowing that I am the I am, the one true God who is able. For I say, when it is me that you will keep your focus, your vision upon, then you are guided forth by me. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the truth, the light, the mercy that I provide day by day. And yes, you will be directed, corrected, and ever shown that it is me, the living God, who is able. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is able to uplift, to guide forth, and direct the ones who will be believing, who will be cleaving unto me. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do intend that my people would serve me, I say they are meant to do so with gladness each day. That is, ever coming forth in the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I bring, ever make glad to be serving me. But I say when the ones who claim that they are my people will wax bold in an evil heart of unbelief, then I say they are not serving me at all. But I say they are serving circumstance, they are serving the lies of the liar, and I say that their hearts are far from me. Now I say you are living in a time when fear is rearing its ugly head throughout the land, and men are fearing on every hand. But I say that my own people are not men to live in the fear of the evil, the fear of the wicked, and the fear of that which men can do against them. But I say that my people are men to live in the wholesome fear of me, ever trusting that it is me that they serve, ever trusting in the goodness, the mercy, the truth that I provide. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend you to walk uprightly. I say that I do intend you to be coming forth made glad in me. And I say that I do intend you to be thankful for the way that I give you, which is the way of my life. For I say, if you are coming forth uplifted in that which is bound in me, then you are ever guided by me. And yes, you are given the blessedness, the truth, the mercy, and the peace that I provide. Now I say this day, let it be me that you continue to look to, that you continue to believe, to trust, and obey. And let it be me who will prove to be the life source, the mercy, and the strength provided for those who are mine. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who does show to the ones who serve me the way wherein they are kept. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to walk afar off from me, but I say that I call you to come forth in my way. And I say that I call you to be thankful that it is me you can look to, believe, and entrust day by day. For I say, when it is me that you will purpose yourselves to obey and follow after, then you are directed by me. And yes, you are given the strength and the truth, the mercy, the light of who I am. But I say, when you give way to unbelief, you are literally succumbing to the lies of the liar and falling down to the same. That is, you are believing the lies of the liar more than the truth that I provide unto my own. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness, mercy, and hope, and peace provided. And it is me, the living God, who will ever direct and correct the people who will believe upon me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not, absolutely do not intend that you would walk afar off from me, but I say that I intend that you would come forth in me. That is, uplifted, directed, and ever guided in the blessedness, the truth, and the light of who I am. For I say to me, the living God, you are given the truth and the mercy, the hope and the peace and the strength day by day. And I say to me, you are directed in that which I give you, which is the truth and the light time and again. Now I say, therefore, this day continue as a steadfast people who are ever hoping, believing and looking unto me, for it is me, the living God, who is able. That is, it is me, the living God, who is able to direct the ones who cleave unto me and walk in my way. 
But I say, when a people are far from the way that I give them, the way of eternal life, where do they end? I say, they end in a heap of unbelief, and I say, the same will damn their souls. Now I say, this day, if my own people would really consider what a grievous sin, a crime, unbelief is towards me, I say, they would not so easily yield themselves to the same. But I say they would fight the good fight of faith through repentance before me and walking uprightly in my way. And I say they would choose the way that I ordained, the straight and narrow way of humility, ever maintaining their confidence in me. For I say when men are truly repentant and desirous of me, I say they will not be found in an evil heart of unbelief. But I say that they will be found full of confidence because it is me, the living God, who has given them the privilege to be redeemed, the privilege to be forgiven, and brought forth in repentance, revolution in their lives. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to take on the covering of the wayward, the careless, the foolish who walk afar off from me. Nor do I call you to live in unbelief, in doubt, in fear, and damnation of soul. But I say that I call you to live in the light, the truth, the mercy that I provide ever may glad for my way. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all mercy and strength and hope provided. Therefore I say this day continue to repent unto me when you find yourself caving in to unbelief. And I say do not repeat the same. That is, do not repeat the murmurings, the lyings, the deceivings that the enemy would hurl at thee to get you to cave in to unbelief. But I say, instead, be rebuking, refuting, and refusing those lies and repenting unto me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will prove to be the ark of safety and strength unto thee, as you are reliant upon me. Now I say, this day you are not meant to look at the darkness, the evil of the times, and give up in despair. For I say that many have gone that way. And I say it is because they are looking to times and seasons rather than me. For I say that I, the living God, never called you to be governed by times, but I say that I've called you to be governed by me. And I say that I've called you to be thankful for the privilege to walk in my way. Now I say this day when any man or woman is full of self-confidence and pride, then I say they will literally despise my humility way. And I say that they will not be found in the same, but I say that their hearts will be far from me. And I say they will go in a way that will prove to be emptiness, futility, and despair. And I say that the same will take them away from me. And I say all the while, while they think they have gained through it all, what have they gained? I say they have gained unbelief, they have gained doubt and the fear of man. And I say they have gained a way of weakness rather than strength. And that is by giving way to those things that the enemy would hurl at them, rather than standing up and refuting the same. For I say you are not meant to be accepting what it is that the liar would hurl at thee, but I say you are meant to be thankful unto me. That is, to be uplifted, directed, and ever guided in my way. Now I say this day, when you look upon the way that I put before you, when you look upon the truth and the light of who I am, when you are ever thankful to be guided by me, then you can rejoice in me. And I say that you can be thankful for the privilege to walk in that which I give you time and again. Therefore, I say, continue as a steadfast people who are ever trusting, believing, and looking to me. And I say, continue in the way of my blessedness, my righteousness revealed. I say this day that I, the living God, will indeed guide you forth in that which I intend if you keep your focus ever upon me. And I say that I will give unto you all that you ever have need of as you continue to trust to believe in me. For I say it is a good thing, a sweet thing, and a blessed thing to be brought forth in that which I give. And I say it is a good thing to be knowing that it is me, the living God, who is thy maker, thy God. I say this day, let it be me that you keep your faith, your trust, your confidence in day by day. That is, do not be full of self-confident pride as many have become in these times, all to their own despair. For I say, while they are believing in themselves, they are failing to believe in me. Now consider what an offense that is unto me when I am the one who has created all men and women and brought them forth, and they trust in the mere fleshliness, the carnality of their own being more than me. For I say, when me man or woman is full of self-confident pride, no, they are fools. I say this day, do not, absolutely do not give way to fools, but I say, be giving yourselves to me. 
And I say, be uplifted, brought forth, and ever guided in the blessedness, the truth, the light that I provide. And I say, be thankful that through me you are given the hope and the peace, the strength, the safety day by day. And I say, through me you are brought forth in that which I give you, which is my life. I say, this day continue in the steadfast way, continue in the strength, the truth, the mercy of who I am. And I say, continue to be ever guided in that which I, the living God, do give to my own. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who directs and corrects the ones who believe upon me and trust me day by day. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am giving the call to any and all who will hearken unto me and be brought forth in my way. And I say that I'm giving the truth to those who will believe upon me and trust me, for I am well able. Now I say this day when you see the one who is confident in self, I say you are looking upon a fool. But I say when you see the one who keeps his confidence in me, such a man is wise. I say this day do not give way to the darkness, the evil, the iniquity, and the fear that is behind the same, but I say instead give way to me. And I say that you will be strengthened in your faith as you keep your confidence in me. For I say you are meant to continue in repentance, revolution, living in and declaring the same, that men indeed would be repentant unto me. That is, that they could be brought forth and guided in the truth, the light, the blessedness, day by day. Now I say this day that I, the living God, will keep a people who keep on trusting, believing and hoping in me, for I am the I am. That is, I am the one who is able, I am the one who will ever direct and correct my own. And I say that I am the one who will guide forth my people in the newness of life that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness, blessedness, and truth, and mercy intended. Therefore I say this day, continue in the way that I give unto thee, continue in the truth, the light, the mercy, the strength that I provide. And I say, be me glad that you can walk in that which I, the living God, do give to my own. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is righteousness and truth. It is me, the living God, who is mercy and life. And it is me, the living God, you are meant to keep trusting in. For I say, if you will keep trusting, believing, and hoping in me, then you are guided forth by me. And yes, you are given all that you ever have need of, for I am well able. Therefore, I say this day, be thankful to continue to believe, to receive, and be brought forth in me. And I say, be thankful that in me you are given the hope and the peace, the strength, the safety, day by day. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will reveal where it is that men are far from me. And I say that I do so to bring them nearer unto me. But I say, there are those who prefer their unbelief, their doubt, their fear, rather than me. And I say such ones will perish in an evil heart of unbelief because they choose the darkness, they choose the fear above me. And I say when you see them in all of their self-confident pride, know they are the fools. That is, the fools who will lose out with me because they have yielded to unbelief and accusation against me. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. God is relentlessly putting forth a call to repentance, revolution, and ecclesia in gathering. Are you willing to answer the call, or do you just want to play church? Now's the time to take action and get active in the war to rescue souls.